one of the things that you would see here is that um, this is a bet, and it's a bet about a person who's going to go into isolation for a certain amount of time for a certain amount of money. And so this is our micro lesson today, and it's only one portion of the full um, lesson plan. Good afternoon, students. Uh, we're going to do a guided practice today, and what we will be working on is a character map. As you will see here, each person has been given a copy of the map, and it shows you how to fill it out with the, the title of the story, which is the bet, and then the character. Um, we have two characters, you can choose one. One is the banker and one is the lawyer. The author, the author's on the name of the handout that you have and the illustrator. Uh, the uh, story doesn't say who the illustrator is, so you're going to be the illustrator. And then you have to look at these parts here and see how it is in the story. And then as you read uh, and also look at the video, then you will plug in these different areas. This gives you an idea what our banker may look like. And then here can be the lawyer. This guided practice is a group activity for 15 minutes. The learners will form into three groups of four and discuss how the characters influence and are, impact, or are impacted by the setting, the characters, and the plot. The character map is used born and after reading a text or a story. As the learner reads, they will complete the character map. After reading, learners will fill in any missing part. Each group will discuss the answers and how the role of the characters contributes to the story. Our objectives for this lesson, okay, is to help you students uh, to comprehend uh, what is really happening in the story. And it also helps you to identify and organize details about the character or the characters. And then you see yourself as a writer um, and you'll see key ideas and then how those key ideas fit together. And one of the things with our character map, it's an organizing and brainstorming technology tool. Also, give you a little definition for the character map. It is what we call a graphic organizer. You can see it and it will help you to learn about the character or the characters in the story and how the characters impact one another and how they are impacted by their settings, such as isolation. Uh, also how they are affected by the plot of the story. What, what is the plot saying? And the character map, you are to use character map during and after the reading. After you read the story, then uh, anything that you didn't fill in while you were reading it and you see that you have missed it, uh, you will fill in those parts. Any questions? As I said before, this is a guided practice, which means that you'll get some help from me, your teacher, as well as some of your classmates. And we just want to give a little demographics about this class. 
Our students are ages between 17 and 24. Uh, their language proficiency is between 8th and 12th grade uh, level. Uh, the students are in a job training and career de uh, development program. This is more of a reading exercise, but in addition to that, uh, you are learning how to look at details and you're learning how to put it together. And you're also learning how to take that information and make new knowledge or information. Okay. Uh, you going to watch a short video of the bet and this is what we call using a instructional media technology because it's a technology where you can see the visual and it gives you some idea of what is happening and you have seen the bet warm up but you'll be able to look at it now a couple of minutes and you will note from the presentation of the various experiences that the characters are going through with their dialogue and discussion with one another and as they are discussing the bet. And then you can make a good assessment of the characters from the video as well as from the reading. Kill the guy, stole the silver. Lock him up for life. That's yeah. actually what you do. Look, look here. You guys are contradicting your own words. Character map. As we said before, the character map is an organizing brainstorming tool and it helps you to look at things and see how things are and some of the things that you're going to look at i just want to uh, put it on the character map is what the character may look like what do you think they look like uh how does he act how does the lawyer act if you choose him how does the banker act uh, i i advise you that you can reread the story either on the online digital library common lit org or every student has a copy a pdf copy available in your email and your email is a communication tool just so you will know that and afterward after you uh, work on the character map then the students will come together in groups of four and you will discuss what you found out and how the characters impacted each other or how they are impacted by their uh, settings okay and you will uh, uh, this is what we call uh instructional and event practice and collaboration you are going to practice identifying and uh, given your idea on what you uh, saw in analyzing uh, the reading and the video. Um, we leave. Uh, each group will get a, about a minute or a minute and a half to tell what you are doing. And just so you have some questions to help you with your data collection and with your analysis technology is what is the bet between the lawyer and the banker? Um, what kind of money are they offering? Uh, what, is, what does the lawyer have to do to earn his money? Do you think that the banker had the money when 10 years was up? And also, who do you think will last, the banker or the lawyer? And so 
I, I, you have the character map. You draw the fi features on the map to illustrate what the character look like. And you also write words to describe aspects of the character as revealed in the text. You don't have to record the uh, page numbers, but do have an idea of where you located the information. So you want to put down uh, the banker or the lawyer, whichever one. You want to put down what they think. You want to put down what they say, what others think about them. There's a dialogue going on there. And what, it, what being in isolation look like. So we have 15 minutes. Uh, and and then we will come back and have a discussion. Thank you, Dr. James. <laughs>